Hello and welcome to the Axicon videos. Today I'm just going to show you the Axicon CheckWrite 5 barcode validation system. Axicon are renowned as one of the world leading manufacturers of barcode verification equipment. But how do you know the product carries the correct barcode? For this example we're going to use these two products. As you can see they look very similar but in fact have two different barcode numbers. Allergens are particularly sensitive areas nowadays, so if the product packaging is incorrect, there can be severe consequences. The Axicon CheckWrite 5 is a low-cost, standalone, plug-and-play validation system that complements verification and will validate every barcode label or pack, both retail and outer case, to ensure that it is a correct barcode. we have to teach to check right 5 the correct barcode. First we have to reset it, then turn and hold the key in the learn position while scanning a sample of the correct barcode. And every product that passes through after that passes with a green light. But if we put the different product through, we have a rejection. As you can see, this displays a red light. The output can then be used to stop the line, sound an alarm, or knock the product off the line altogether. On a conveyor belt, the broken beam sensor is placed ahead of the scanner. When the beam is broken, the scanner is triggered to scan, a barcode prior to being triggered again. The scanner is placed at the optimum distance as shown in the setup guide and can be placed at any orientation depending on the orientation of the barcode. The CheckWrite 5 can scan all common retail and outer case barcodes. As you can see, with an incorrect barcode number, this works in the same way. The Axicon CheckWrite 5 will also detect no reads caused by missing damaged or creased barcodes. By default, the check right 5 will indicate with an amber light each consecutive no read up to a maximum of 5 times. After which, the red reject light will also illuminate. The minimum number can actually be changed to meet individual needs. The Axicon CheckWrite 5 can read all major linear barcodes by default. Suitable for speeds of up to 5 product barcodes per second. Whilst the majority of users will utilise the broken beam sensor, there is also an option for a direct pack sensor, which comes in either a short or long range version. The CheckWrite 5 is an easy to install plug and play system which will suit the majority of applications. For a more bespoke system, we also offer the CheckWrite 7, which can be fully customised for specific requirements. Out of the box, the CheckWrite 5 comes with the CheckWrite 5 unit, the scanner cable, the sensor cable and power supply. It also comes with a scanner and a choice of three sensors. A broken bean sensor with a reflector and two reflective sensors, one for close range and one for long range. Most users prefer to provide their own bracketry for the sensor and the scanner. Whilst the CheckWrite 5 comes with a simple bracket for the scanner, we can provide both a simple bracket for the sensor and alternative ones for the scanner. Extra at cost. Most users will opt for the S415BP polarized retro broken beam sensor with a 2.5mm range, preferred because the package of any shape or colour will break the beam reliably. The sensor is placed on one side of the conveyor and the reflector on the other. When the product breaks the beam, the scanner is triggered to scan the barcode. There will be occasions, however, when the diffused reflective sensors are a better option, the DP being the short range version, around 100mm, and the CP being the long range version, up to 350mm. The beam is reflected off the package itself rather than a specially mounted reflector. 
Reflective sensors tend to be easier to install, not requiring a reflector on the opposite side of the conveyor. They interact with the surface of the product, e.g. transparent surfaces or light, and dark features can cause multiple triggers. The sensor is positioned correctly when a green light is lit and stable. When the sensor is triggered, the amber light will toggle on and off. The scanner should be positioned so that just as the sensor is being triggered, the trigger light on the scanner comes on. The sensor should be triggered by the product all the time the scanner is scanning the barcode. A useful indication of a successful read is that the laser beam switches off following a successful decode. If the laser remains on during the entire passage of the barcode past the scanner, then there may be an issue with the range and the position of the scanner or with the quality of the barcode. Before proceeding to learn, it would be wise to check that the code is being read at the specified distance. See centre pages of the setup guide for suggested distances. It is recommended that the code quality is checked using a verifier before installation begins. If a barcode will not scan successfully, although it's the correct number, then barcode quality is probably the issue. It is important that the scan beam is in the same orientation as a barcode, like this, not this. If the barcode is vertical and in a ladder orientation, then the scanner should be rotated 90 degrees to match. The connections on the underside of the check right 5 are clearly labelled to prevent any confusion. Barcode validation is an ideal supplement to barcode verification. Whereas barcode verification checks the quality and format of the barcode to recognise standards, barcode validation confirms a correct and present barcode on each and every product. Contact sales at axicon.com for more information.